most Palestinians have never left Gaza because they're not allowed to. So when Israel recently said it would grant a few hundred work permits, this is what happened. It's not quite a matter of life or death, but it's not far from it. Gaza, five months after the war ended, is still a land of rubble and fear. The ceasefire between Israel and Hamas, the militant organization which controls Gaza, is fragile, but it is just about holding for now. But in their first interview since mediation talks in Egypt ended, Hamas has told Sky News that they will continue to fight Israel. We can defeat Israel. We can target Israel. I think we, we target Israel many times. Okay, we can kill. They can come and destroy everything. But at the same time, we, Israel, will never see the stability unless the Palestinians get their stability and their security. They have to understand this. So you'll continue to fight Israel? Yes, you'll continue yes. to strike Israel? Yes. It is our right, national right. If that happens, there will be more scenes like this. Six-year-old Susie was rescued, holding the body of her younger brother. Her apartment block was hit by an Israeli missile during the recent conflict. Her two sisters, her two brothers and her mother died in the airstrike. This patch of sand is what is left of their home today. Israel said that it was targeting Hamas tunnels nearby and that their deaths were unintended. Susie is traumatized. She plays alone, she barely speaks, and she wakes screaming in the night. Her father dreads another war. <laughs> قلت لا الموضوع هذا مش موجود عندها قلت يعني لو في صارت حرب يعني الله اعلم يعني ايش يصير فيها يعني احنا بدنا حاجه جذريه تحمي المدنيين والاطفال من اي حرب جايه يعني ما فيش فايده اني احكي لاسرائيل واحكي لحماس يعني الرسائل بتتسجل على ورق ان شاء الله هذه بتكبر وتصير يعني زي ما بدها ومتعلمه وتسند حالها وتدير بالها حالها لانه Susie and her father are the victims of the actions of both sides in this ongoing conflict. Right now, the chances of a lasting truce seem pretty small. On the one hand, both sides say that they want peace and that it is not in their interests to start another conflict. But on the other hand, neither side can agree on a way that they can live together on the same piece of land. And as long as that difference remains, another war seems inevitable. For now, life in Gaza has returned to its unique version of normality. They know it might not last long. Israeli drones constantly circle overhead, watching, always watching. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, Gaza.